Bronzinus Manele's masterpiece, Venus, Cupid, Folly and Time, is full of mysterious allegories. At the center is an incestuous kiss between Venus and Cupid. On the right side, Folly is scattering the roses. The old man trying to remove the blue curtain is Time, and he is battling with Oblivion, who wants to keep the curtain up there. On the left, there is an old woman in agony. She is tormented by the fear of age and the tremendous envy for the eternal beauty of Venus. I am wondering if we become so ugly when we are overwhelmed by envy. Maybe yes, envying itself is not the most beautiful emotion. Envy is a resentful feeling that often accompanies hostility. When we compare with someone who has advantages over us, we recognize a lack in ourselves. We fall in a sense of inferiority and frustration. Have you ever experienced the feeling of emptiness when you swipe a social media over a course of time? You see your friends on a vacation, others in a big party full of friends. Whatever the event is, there are always cool stuff happening somewhere and you may feel your life is not as cool as these images. By the way, jealousy is technically different from envy. Jealousy is a fear of losing something that you already have, while envy is the longing for something that you don't have. For example, you may be worried when your girlfriend is texting with another guy. Now, you are jealous. On the other hand, when your neighbor buys a brand new luxurious car or your colleague got a promotion, you wonder why it is not you. The resentment gives you a grudge towards the person who enjoys something that you don't have. Now, you are envious. The sense of envy is a part of human life. This is nothing new. It exists as long as the human history. According to the Bible, the first homicide was caused by envy. Cain and Abel were the first two sons of Adam and Eve. Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. Both were sacrificing their products to God, but God preferred Abel's offering. Cain was infuriated and killed his brother, which was ensued by God's punishment. Cain had to pay with his life for the destructive envy. The teaching of the Bible dictates that envy is one of the seven deadly sins. This is what is depicted by Jeronimus Bosch's moral painting. God forbids envy. But the question is, how we can cope with it if envy is so wrong? This is a natural reaction of human psychology. This is how we are designed to be. That's why it's simply not possible to oppress such an emotion. But instead, we should accept our human imperfection. Wabi-sabi is a Japanese traditional aesthetics. It has been developed as a part of Zen Buddhism but later applied to many forms of art. The beauty of wabi-sabi is centered upon the acceptance of the true nature of human life. Nothing lasts, nothing is finished, and nothing is perfect. Wabi originally meant dissatisfaction due to the lack or loneliness in living in the nature. Around the 14th century, however, it changed to a positive connotation that implies rustic simplicity freshness or quietness. Sabi refers to melancholy and serenity that comes with age. Together, they indicate a state of mind that perceives a beauty within imperfection and impermanence. When it comes to artistic production, wabi-sabi refers to the minimalist items with organic form. Their designs include asymmetric form and materiality where corrosion and degradation give an accent. Japanese pottery is a good example. This tea bowl shows a crude and asymmetric form. The color and the texture appear unrefined. These characteristics have been interpreted as flawed beauty. There is a philosophy behind the wabi-sabi aesthetics. The wabi-sabi way of appreciation is based on acknowledgement and observation. If you don't know about the idea, you may not appreciate the artwork. Here is the interesting part. This kind of recognition makes us aware 
of the excessive craving for what may not be needed. It eventually helps shifting our psychological burden and improving the mental well-being. In the modern life, we are bombarded with images of perfect life. An ad features a beautiful couple walking on a luxurious resort, or the beautiful model showing off the shiny hair. All these manufactured images constantly lure consumerism by making us feel we are missing that product or missing that perfect life in the image. These created images are so invasive, you cannot keep your peaceful mind because they constantly make you envy something. But this craving, your craving, is this really what you want from the bottom of your heart? You should ask yourself, if the answer is yes, you can try to achieve it. But you may have something great already, and you just don't appreciate it enough. Ryoanji is a temple in Kyoto, famous for its Zen garden. The dry landscape, composed with arranged rocks, is a pinnacle of Japanese minimalism. Its poignant simplicity represents wabi, while the clay wall stained by age is sabi. The rock garden has served as a place of meditation for ages. And not only that, it helps us open up our mind into a new perspective. If you accept the true nature, you would be liberated from the tension and the emptiness. In the temple, next to the Zen garden is a water basin installed for ritual washing of the hand and the mouth. There are four letters inscribed on its top. This is read as Ware Tada o Shiru, which translates literally as I only know sufficiency, or more poetically, rich is the person who is content with what they have. Thank you very much for watching the video. Actually, I started this research about how to stop being envious because I myself was struggling. And uh, I found uh, this Wabi Sabi idea is quite interesting. But I'm sure you have your own way of coping with the sense of uh, envy. If you have an idea, please write down on the comment section. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you very much.